Warning, if you don't like anything scary, then you might want to click off this video, because this video will contain guts, blood, gore, and anything else that is scary that will make you crap your pants and give you nightmares. You have been warned. <laughs> It had been two days since the incident with the 3DS in Dade, but after what happened then, neither me or David wanted anything to do with the console. We were scared that if we tried to play the game again and make new Miis, Dade would get more mad and do more harm to the Miis. So the day after the incident, we both agreed to keep the 3DS as just a collectible. I was beginning to fall asleep when I was suddenly startled when I heard knocking on our door. I went to the door, thinking it was housekeeping, also David was getting ready for work, so I was the only one to answer. David works at Taco Bell as a janitor, which has to be the shittiest job there, mainly because of how much pe diarrhea people have when they go to Taco Bell. When I answered the door, I was surprised to see that it was our neighbor, Katie. Katie comes to visit us every week to spend some time with us before she has to get ready for work. Katie works at McDonald's as a cashier, which sounds like an easy job. Anyway, Katie came in and started asking, Hey guys, what were you guys getting scared about the other day? Because I could hear you from my apartment. I was scared to answer, and I was not a person to lie about anything, so this was nerve-wracking. Oh well, it'll be fine, as long as you don't, guys don't disturb the manager of the building, Katie said. I sighed with relief, because I did not feel like explaining about the 3DS or Dade. She walked to our room and saw David sitting on the bed getting his uniform ready for work and said, Getting ready for work already? Yeah, you know I have to leave around this time, David replied. Then I saw Katie go into the drawer to try and look for the TV remote, and my heart sank when I saw her pull out the 3DS. You guys finally found the 3DS? Katie asked out of excitement. Yes, we both said with frightened looks. Both me and David did not feel like talking about the horror that we went through during our first time with the system because she wouldn't believe us if we told her. So we just let her turn on the 3DS without hesitation. Everything was going fine until she noticed the Me channel on the screen. I heard some great things about the Me channel on this console, Katie said with a surprised look on her face. She tapped on the Me channel icon to open it up while I was worried that it would show the dialog box that would say, Play With Me. When she opened the Me channel, it surprisingly let her in without a problem. Then she said something that shook me. I want to make my own Me. I was scared of this, because this meant that Dade was going to have another victim to traumatize. When the Me channel opened and showed the plaza with Dade sitting in the middle, Katie started getting confused. Who's at Me in the center of the room? She asked us. It's the me of the previous owner, I answered. She shrugged it off and went to the me creation screen. After making her me look just like her and naming it, she returned to the me channel plaza, but something was off about it now. The whole screen was black and white with absolutely no color, and the bottom screen had turned black again. What the heck just happened? She asked us. I don't know. This has never happened to us yet, I said. Yet? You mean something like this has happened before? She yelled. I'll explain later. Just let me handle this, I said. Then Dade turned towards the camera and started speaking with the dialogue box typing. Oh, hello, Elliot. I see that you brought a friend with you this time. How does he know who you are? Katie asked. I made me's for me and David when we got this console, and this me killed them, I answered. What? It killed them? Katie screamed with horror. I wouldn't say killed them. I would say getting them out of the way of our time together. Dade said as if he was listening to our conversation. I didn't want to continue talking, so I tried to figure out what to do. Then I noticed that I could try and delete Dade in... So I tried finding where the delete button was, but with no luck. Do you think deleting me is going to do anything? Dade asked with enjoyment. It's going to get you out of my system, I yelled. Oh, but I am more than just a dumb little me. Pretty soon you will all find out for yourself. Dade said to all of us. Now, I need to get back on schedule with your me, Katie. Dade said to Katie. We all stared at each other, confused and worried. 
Was he about to kill Katie's me? Dade walked off screen and then Katie's me whispered something to us. Please save me. We were all starting to get scared for this me. After 20 seconds, Dade walked back on screen with his baseball bat, went to Katie's me and screamed, This is what you get for stealing my spotlight. He took his bat and swung it hard at Katie's me and it fell to the ground and slid to the barrier of the screen, stopping there. There were deep cuts in the side of the me's head, and the pool of blood was bigger than me and David's me's. Day turned towards the camera, revealing his horrifying photorealistic eyes and mouth, and said, When will you learn to be in other people's lives, you selfish, ignorant cunts? Five seconds after that, there was a loud scream coming from the console that was blasting our eardrums. I was threatened by what he had said, so I ran to the closet, grabbed a screwdriver, and started unscrewing the back of the 3DS off. Once the bat came off, I immediately took out the battery, which shut off the 3DS. After the console turned off, I put it on the nightstand and looked at David and Katie, who had a horrified look on her face that I couldn't forget. Is it over? She asked with fear. Yeah, I think so. I think maybe you should go, I said. So she... So after she grabbed her jacket and David finished getting ready for work, they both walked out the door. After they left, I saw the 3DS screen turn on with a black screen and text that read, You will learn. I didn't want anything else to do with the 3DS, so I put it in the drawer and never touched it after that.